Hey, how's it going everybody? This is uh, Randy from Wimp Studios. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Lumberyard. Somebody was interested in seeing one of the example projects, so we're going to set that up. It's not as, a, it's not as easy as, say, file loading you know, a project in Unity or something, but um, we're going to run you through it right now, so you'll see exactly how, how to do this on your own. Um, it does take a while to download all the packages, to un, uh, unzip everything, put them in the right directories, uh, run all the configurations. Um, we're going to walk through that um, right now. So go to uh, aws.amazon.com slash lumberyard slash downloads, just like where you got the engine in the last video. If you scroll down a bit more, you'll see three different packages. The first one is uh, it's like scenery, it's uh, woods. The second one is, it's like a zombie game. Uh, it's called Beach C Cities. It's 1950s era. Um, the last one is um, a CryEngine legacy game, I guess. Uh, it's a shooter of some sort. Um, looks like a full game, though. Um, so we'll try that at some point. But right now, we're going to do the Beach City asset package. So download that, and I'll show you where to put it. So unzip it, which takes a bit. Make sure you have a lot of space available. So this is the file structure, the directories when you unzip. You need to move all of these to the proper location within your root engine folder. So let's do that now. This is the root engine folder. Um, you go into dev. Actually, I guess this could be the root. I think in the documentation they call this the root. Anyways, you can see that I already moved in the Beach City folder, so that just goes here. The bin64, you actually have to take the contents and move them over. So I moved over, like, all of these are in here. So Beach City Launcher, Beach City Launcher. All right, so yeah, you drop all these in here. Um, next... I think the cache files may be created automatically during the processing of the assets. I'm not sure, but you can go ahead and drag it in anyways. It's going to go in the cache folder. So yeah, you drag the Beach City in there. Um, and then the code directory is going to have a Beach City folder as well and this is called a module so yeah drag over this into the code directory in your root engine folder and inside a module you have a game and resources folder this is all from the documentation you can look it up it has to do with their waf build system um, yeah you can read all about it on amazon's tutorials on their website but yeah you have to have a ws or w script file within a module it's something that um, the build system looks up and knows to add the files somehow. Um, it's all it's all on the website. Yeah, the resources, there's not much in here. It's like an icon. Uh, game, this is where all the classes are. Uh, a couple other files as well, but your core class is here. Um, this is your header file. This is your implementation files. So yeah. Once you've dragged in all those files, I don't think you need to drag in the license, but uh, I actually did just throw it in the root folder as well. Now, once you do that, you need to set up um, the project settings, so the project JSON um, configuration file. So where's that? That, I believe, is in dev, and then there's WAF, which again is their build system, and projects.json. So if you open this up, I had already added all the new packages, but I'll show you what it looks like. So this is a um, standard JSON um, structure. It comes with uh, two modules at first, or two projects, two asset packages, the samples project and the multi, uh, multiplayer project. Um, they're just comma separated like this. Um, so you got to add the comma, and then you got to add another, another entry for Beach City. All right, so where does this come from? This I got from the website. Um, it's kind of hard to find, but it's under the documentation, Lumberyard, user guide, sample projects, and levels. So this, this gives you a little bit about the, the directory um, setup. It talks about the two packages that come with it, the samples project and the multiplayer project. 
and then this is the legacy private project that you can install the shooter here's the beach cities that i mentioned before and the last one is this little woodland asset package um, but this is what you're looking for go to beach city sample project under topics and it's here that explains the steps that i'm showing you now so this is the this is the json that you want to add when you want to add the assets package to your projects all right once you've done that you've saved this go back to your game engine folder go to dev bin 64 and look for project configurator all right so this is an executable you run this um, this is something that we also got through got to before through the uh, editor or launcher i should say um, but yeah so go to the project configurator and now you will see the new asset package beach city so you click that then you click set as defaults and then I don't remember if you have to actually hit launch editor. I don't think so. You just hit set as default and then the asset processor will come up. And this thing, depending on the size of the package, this one's huge, takes forever. It's been running for, I don't know, an hour. Um, and it's not even going to be done probably tonight. But yeah, this is loading all of the assets. Um, and so it looks like the way this game engine works is they expect you to be building one game, which makes sense but as indie devs we're probably working on multiple projects all the time or if you're like me and you do games for a hire you probably have a few different projects but in this case they expect a big giant dev studio hundreds of people or tens of people at least all working on one game one project and so you set up your files you set up your project files once and yeah it takes two hours or whatever but then you're set up and you're ready to go um, and then it's supposed to help with the build processing later and help everybody collaborate, uh, you, you know, have all these extra tools and things that we probably will never use as an indie dev, but they're here. So it seems to slow us down, but I'm sure there is an advantage to it. I'm just not seeing it yet, but it is early. It is beta. So after all those assets are done processing, you can then either launch the game itself or you can launch the editor. We'll launch the editor first and then I'll show you how to launch the game. So we want to open up a level. The only level in this project is uh, Beach City Nighttime. So we're going to open that up. It's going to load. And check it out. Look at that, real time. That is an advantage of this engine. This thing does real time really well. Um, let's see. I think we're. I played this before, so I'm already in the uh, game mode. Is that why? Yeah. Let's see. So you should be able to move around. Let me see. Escape. Okay, now I can fly around the map. I don't know how. So you can go into game, but I don't know how to like start it, like uh, run scripts and uh, begin the game. Let's try. We'll work on editing this and, and looking at how it's built another time. But let's try to actually play the game outside of the editor. So let's close this. So how do we launch this? Well, if you remember, we dragged in a bunch of files into the bin64 folder. So your root folder should look like this. Your bin64 should look like this. We're looking for a project uh, executable named beach city here it is beach city launcher.exe so run that and it opens up in its own little window here and we are in game so again it's still flying around so it's in debug but wow look at the graphics on that this is this is better than fallout right here really nice I'm just flying around the map. Everything seems to be a computer that I recently upgraded for VR. But look at that. Look at the rain coming down. So obviously I'm flying through the map. So these buildings are uh, missing sides. But this is nice. This is really good. So yeah, I'm just using WASD and the mouse to look around. 
There's supposed to be zombies in this. I really wish I could play it. I'm not sure how you play the game itself. Um, I'll have to take a look at the scripts. There's a save icon here. Well, I think that's all for tonight. Um, if I figure anything else out about this, I'll let you guys know. We'll also try some of the other example projects in another video. But uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, let me know if you got any questions or if you've tried this out. Let me know if you had any different experiences and uh, what you think so far. All right. Good night.